breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. See how leaked photo led to disbandment of Edo Deputy Governor's press crew. We're talking about Obaseki and Philip Shwaibo. You know the problem and the issue that have been on among the duo. Philip Shwaibo supported Obaseki and one would think they would never have a single problem. Little did we know that that was our own thought and imagination. And as you all know, we humans uh, are bound to have conflicts, but resolving it is a way to go. This is exactly what is happening between the deputy governor of Edo State and his principal, Governor Godwin Obaseki. However, what is leading to part of the crisis is a leak photo of himself and mm -hmm, i will give you the full details please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe let's get all the details how leaked photo led to disbandment of a do state deputy governor's press crew journalists attached to Komri Philly Shraibu, the deputy governor of a do state we are recently caught in the political crossfire of the gladiators. The incident occurred August 28, 2023, during the 60th anniversary celebration of the Midwest referendum at the Victor Waifu Creative Hub, venue of the event in Benin City. All well, all went well as the journalist media crew arrived at the venue alongside the deputy governor. A few minutes after they entered the hall, the public relations officer Office of the Governor Osari Modio Ju and the press crew secretary to the governor, Mr. Andrew, identified them one after the other, following which they journalists were physically forced out of the venue by security operators. Effort by the deputy governor to stop their eviction was unsuccessful as the governor's aide attributed the decision to remove the journalists to orders from above a development that made shaibu angrily storm out of the event as well the governor Gordon obaseki and his deputy are currently locked in a bitter political battle after shaibu approached the federal high court in abuja to stop his boss the house of assembly from impeaching him blueprint gathered that the governor was embarrassed after a photo recently shot by the journalists attached to the deputy governor's office trended on social media on Sunday. The photo reportedly taken by the at the Sunday Thanksgiving service 60th anniversary celebration of the Midwest referendum. The governor's secretary was seen preventing Philip Shraibo coming close to the governor whose wife sat beside him. In a statement issued by Mr. Chris, the Commissioner for Information and Orientation, the government directed the Deputy Governor to henceforth request the Ministry of Communication for media coverage of activities of his office. The statement reads, the, ugly, the directive followed the ugly unfortunate incident that happened during the Colondium held at the to mark the 60th anniversary at the Midwest referendum at the Sir Victor Waifu Creative Hub and staged. Some journalists who claimed to be media crew of the deputy governor attempted to force their way into the hall where the governor and other important dignitaries were already seated. This act of controversies and insubordination holding on to protocol has led to the establishment of the media crew of the deputy governor to be disbanded. The orchestration and stage managed worked out, disrupting high regard people who were already seated. So, you know, when people they do something, not like me, they see what they do. We share, we tell you that time and the things when it happen. Not be smart, it happen. No. So after the dog do they don't do. Now we call CC, they call TP show for Baseki and the wife sit down. Philip Shaibu was trying to come and give him a handshake. For Baseki lock up. It do like say no, siya. Uh -huh. Lock up, let's say not here. So now that thing, so now I call verse of Basak, he said, the old word goes here and say, where say, Philip is right, but they try to call greater. He do like, say, no, they say, Philip is right, but you know, he's born now. He do like, say, no, they say, ah. Now Basak, he say, see, eh? all of you now, I don't lose on our job. From today's fault, nobody attached to the deputy governor's office. 
the deputy governor wants media crew. There is a department. You know, say the wala does strong now. See, there is a department in a do uh, state. Uh, make it go collect from that. Um, make it go the commission. Make it go the uh, you know. Make it go the commissioner. Make it go the uh, offices. Go ask for any uh, crew when you want. Make it follow her. Well, that is if you want to call it an abuse of office. I don't know what else to say because right now, as you and I we speak, so the thing no, you not really the right to be quite candid. You know, really today, right like that, because the deputy governor have some things attached to him, if you get what I mean. And these are part of uh, the things, you know, the media crew that accompanying his office and what have you. However, these things have been taken away from him, you know, as a result of uh, his behavior. And uh, the governor say not behave way. Say so as a result, he will have himself to blame. And uh, now so we don't sit here, the do be. Everybody now they look the matter, they wonder, say, ah, uh -uh, what's it happened to deputy governor? Where? Now, so we they look and they say, well, say, the deputy governor now, uh, he could go, go deal without a media crew. You see, and so, uh -huh, say, go deal without a media crew. So, now, so the thing just be. Everybody now they wonder, what did they go on between deputy, uh, governor Gordon Obaseki and his deputy Philip Shwaibo? It's really quite unfortunate, to be quite candid, that these things are happening. And one must really pay serious and great attention to all of these things and understand that at the end of the day, okay, may they try to find peace. Because whether they quarry, not they move those state forward, we need peace. We need peace. You know, where two people they fight like that. Imagine that the media crew all of it all lost their job. Because Felix Shaibo and Obaseki get Wala. You know, see us we just make peace for this. So if Wala did like that, it's not a good. If people they fight like that, it's not a good, it's not a good at all. Though. It's not good. But now we see the apple so. So Philip Shaibu and Obasa can be like five and six before. We be like they're attached to each other. So no go feel separate. See what it all they happen. You know, Philip Shaibu and Obaseki not be smart in that year. When Obaseki they seek re election, they are two go join PDP. You know, Philip Shaibu calls him brother, uh, Oshomole. Many things happen. So now Philip Shaibu, the whole problem we say the genesis we say he won't be the he won't be governor after Obaseki. Obaseki say I not think so. Obaseki, you see the excuse Obaseki give her. Make he wait. Make he administration finish. See, they get many things to do. Say re-election not be the issue now. Make Philip Shaibu make he go rest. It's the way they reach that bridge they go cross her. But Philip Shaibu say ah ah, will they talk and so election or the drone near? If we not start preparation now, you not day by my side as I did by your side for the two ten. No, I go be. When one will start the thing late. Me and Wabasa get another person he get for my baby say, if he say he go like make it be deputy governor, you know. Not be smart, you know. And I feel if I will take a person and say, Obasa, you, you. Now so but we know Felicia I put don't go abuja, don't go file uh, uh, Court case, so say make a Obaseki not touch him, make Obaseki not send him out. So maybe he knows something about Obaseki we we not know. Say Obaseki if he send him out, we don't know that one. But Felicia Ibu must have known something, and that's why he make that move, you know. But however it is, so the thing that all the court serious were all so then now everybody they see there, you be like that to say they wash your dirty linen in the out out in the open. Now so it don't be between the two. You see and so. Anyway, my people, more than not forget to give us a thumbs up, like, or share, subscribe. God bless. Bye for now.